Salutations, boob tube. Uh, Leafs game last night. Uh, missed the first period because uh, my son had a ball hockey game last night, um, but I was keeping up to date on my phone uh, as the period rolled along. And uh, and then, of course, when we got home, we watched the rest of the game, and then I watched the highlights of the first period so I could see what went on. And uh, the Leafs fell 6-4 in kind of a sloppy, missed opportunity kind of affair. Um they got down early 2 nothing in the first period. Uh, the first goal was a gift from the refs on a, on a, a brutal holding call on, on Connor Brown. Um, and then they scored not long after that to make it 2 nothing uh, even strength. Um, fortunately, Hyman was able to, to, to pot one near the end of the period to, to cut the deficit to 2-1. Um, so this is the first time in a while that they haven't started on time, which was a big thing, if you can remember, during the regular season. I always mentioned these bad starts um you can't really fault them on the first goal other than their penalty kill didn't stop the opportunity but the power play never should have happened um and then in the second period uh they clawed back into it and matthews scored early to knock things at two um but then the bruins added two at the end of the period uh to go up four two and uh and and with chara scoring early in the third to make it five two it looked like the leafs were out of it um but uh, lo and behold, they uh, they mounted an attack, uh, found some momentum on a power play. Uh, Matthews scored, Dermott scored late, and they cut it to five four, and uh, and pulled the goalie. And were really looking like if they just had enough time, it, it would it would they would eventually have before they had to pull the goalie. If they just had enough time left, they would have tied it up easily, and uh, at least sent it to overtime. If not, you know, pulled away. Um, it, it was the game. It was the Leafs' game to take. Um, it was. It was the first night where I saw Fred not look. He was good. He made a lot of good saves, but he also made some questionable eh, uh, goals that that got through him. That you know sometimes you you think that they normally wouldn't. Um, not that you can fault him for the loss, but he didn't look as good as he looked in in previous games. Not that he looked bad. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those gray areas. Um, my my main issue with this series is has been the officiating. Um, Boston only got two power play chances, which they converted on both of them in this game, but both of the penalties never should have happened. Like I said, the the call on Brown in the first period, right at the start of the game, that gave Boston their early lead was questionable, and then the next penalty later in the game was on Matthews. Him and well, McAvoy. Um, were were battling in front of the net, just a shoving match, and uh, and then McAvoy whined like a bitch and cried, and the ref gave Matthews a penalty. They should have been one or none, or both or none. It should, it's one of those situations, not not take Matthews for for basically nothing, um, and they scored on that. So, and, and then the whole debacle in game two, where they had the chance to control the game and not let it get out of hand, but they did, um, and and. and and then Kadri got suspended out of it. So I'm not impressed with that. Now you could say, well, the Leafs penalty kill should have took care of business. And hopefully they will because they haven't been that great. Um, hopefully in the, in the next couple games they will sort that out. But I don't like this whole things have to be even. Oh, we can't call a penalty on the Leafs or on Boston because... Um, They've already, we've already given them a couple penalties, and the Leafs have had a couple penalties. So we don't we want to keep it even. We don't want to, you know, give the advantage to either team. Well, why not? The Leafs were the better team by far. They outshot them. Boston had to block a ton more shots. The Leafs outhit them by a thin margin. The only thing they didn't do better was on the faceoffs, which they usually are better on faceoffs. But this is one of the nights where they they didn't have that advantage. The Leafs were by far the better team in this game, but a couple of stupid penalty gifts to the Bruins gave them a couple power play goals if it wasn't for those power play goals Boston would have looked completely regular um the Leafs were running them around the rink with their speed they like I said they out hit them um it just pisses me off that that the refs try to control the 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 evenness or the I don't know the the balance of the game if if one team's committing a lot more penalties then call them that's what you're there for. That's that's the fairness of the game. That's why. Otherwise, you may as well not be there. Why have refs? Just let them go at each other. You know, like, and uh, you know, I saw that Matthews call. I saw the Brown call, and then the whole night I'm watching Chara, 
<clears throat> before a Leaf player even gets within 10 feet of the puck. He's swinging his stick, slashing their stick before they even get there. And then the puck's left the zone for 10 seconds, and the guy's just trying to get by on the boards, and Char just stands in front of him and interferes, and he gets away with all this shit. Probably because he's a big, slow dummy, but, I mean, what the hell? Those are all penalties. Um, if you're going to call Matthews for the battle for position with McAvoy in front of the Boston net, you're going to call Brown for the chintzy hold, you should have easily called all that bullshit, but they don't. Because it's playoff hockey. It's fucking ridiculous. And I really hope that after the Game 2 debacle, that things would get better. And I guess it's been better than Game 2, but but still, it's it's not great. And, uh, and, and you don't want to ever say, well, we lost the series because of officiating or whatever. Um, we lost it because we lost it. But at the same time, you know, being a Leafs fan my whole life and seeing um, all the things that can happen to this team, you, you get pissed off and you don't care after a while. Um, and you just want them to have their fair shot. And it never seems like they do. It always seems like something's against them or whatever. Um, and, and in those two games that they've lost... Um, the refs have factored in greatly to that. I, I think if the games had been called completely down the middle, give the team a penalty who earns a penalty, I think the Leafs would have swept the series by now. The The power play um, is really the only thing that's keeping Boston afloat and helping them score. At 5-on-5, five five, the Leafs are owning them. Um, and, uh, and I thought in playoffs they put the whistles away, but apparently they don't, especially when it's the Leafs being called for stuff. So... Um, but it is what it is. It's now basically a best of three going back to Boston. The Leafs have proved they can win there. Um, so, yeah, they just got to they gotta win two games before Boston does. That's all it comes down to. And uh, I think with the way the four games have gone so far, even though the series is even, I think uh, anyone can see that the Leafs have overall been the better team. And uh, there's no reason that they shouldn't be able to, to win two. Uh, of the next three and uh, and proceed to the second round, but uh, but that's why they play the games. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Friday night is the next game, and I cannot wait. Have a great uh, Thursday.